Okay, so we've updated the Rust Sound app. You've downloaded the Google Home app right. and the YouTube app. So let's take a look at those two things. Okay. So what we're going to do is add a Chromecast device. Right. So we're going to add one of our MBXs to Google Home. So right. here's the app. I just put it on here. Because if you want to play your YouTube music from here, you're going to need to cast it, correct? That's correct. So we're choosing the account that we want to associate this with. And these are just the standard it would Google be, Home screens, right? Right. Setting and this would be, device. again, you would have your, your customer's account for this purpose. Right. And since it was already signed in at the Play Store, mm -hmm. it's already it's already available here. So once you sign in, it's a, that's available everywhere. All right, so we're signed into the Google Home app, mm -hmm. and it's connected to by default the same Google account we use at the Play Store. Okay. Right. So now we we want to add a device. So we select devices on the side here. Right. See earlier, we did add an MBX. Um, I'm just going to add another one just to, so you can see. Sure. So if if you've already got an MBX, for example, set up on the network, it would show up. But in this case, we're also going to add one just to show the right. process. So adding yeah. a new one if you're doing this for the first Because I've time. added one already. So I'm going to add, yeah, I'm just going to add another device. Right. So you want to choose where this is. Um, we simply just call it Google MBX because I have a rack set up with these MBXs. Mm -hmm. and but normally this might say kitchen, living room. You can change, room, yeah, because if you say, hey, I want to add this exactly. If you want to add that device and you want to call it a room because it's going to work in the particular room, you can do that. And that, that gives you an option to add that there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to click next. Right. Location access, next. So do we want to allow it? Yep. So it found we have a lot of MBXs in here. So yeah, as you would imagine. Um, so I'm just going to select one of these um, MBX. Got a lot of MBX pre's here. I'm going to add this MBX amp that's right here. And click next. So I found it right away. Now, if I had it hooked up, it's it's kind of far off in another room. So when you have this all installed and hooked up to another speaker, it's going to play a sound. Right. Through. You would actually be able to hear yeah, it. It's a confirmation. Exactly. You won't, won't hear it here. So if you didn't hear it and you're like, oh, what's going on? You check your amp. It's like, oh, I forgot to connect the speaker. You know, so mm -hmm. something simple like that usually. And then just hit yes. Um, ask you if you want to help improve uh, experience by sending data. Not everybody's going to want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we always do. So yes, I'm in. Um, so you can choose a room to have this in here. Right. Now, I'm just going to choose office. Continue. And now it's finalizing connection. That was done pretty quickly. All right, I'm going to finish the setup. Okay. And it's just showing there was already a speaker in the office, so it's calling it Office 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's ready to go. So it's pretty easy to set up. Okay, so just summarize here. What we've done is we've gone into, we've added Google Home. We have added an MBX amp to the Google Home network. That's we're going to yep. assume that's already plugged in, configured, and hooked up, right. but it hadn't been connected to the Google Home network yet. Now that we have, now it's available to be casted to. Right. right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay.